Hello everyone. Now in this video you are going to learn how to draw the projections of a solid cylinder. So before drawing the projections let us have a look about the cylinder. In the previous video you saw the projections of a cone which is having only one base and all the generators are connected to the apex point. Whereas in the cylinder it will have two bases the upper base as well as the bottom base and the generators are connected from bottom base to upper base which represents the height of the cylinder. See here the axis of the cylinder is parallel to vertical plane and perpendicular to horizontal plane. Otherwise you can say that the cylinder base is any base either bottom base or top base is parallel to horizontal plane or the base is resting on horizontal plane. So this is about the cylinder which will have two bases. So now the axis is parallel to vertical plane. When the axis is parallel to vertical plane the front view appears as a rectangle and the top view appears as a circle. Now the true shape will be the circle which is in the top view. Now we will draw the same circle radius 20 this is the top view. Now we will go for the projections yeah now this is the projection for the axis. The axis is 70 mm long. So in the previous video we saw that the base is connected to the apex point that is the cone but in the cylinder it will have upper base and the lower base. So now it appears as a rectangle. So now again 70, 70. Now I am going to draw the upper base that is in the front view it appears as a line. This is upper base and now this is the bottom base. So now upper base, bottom base and the generators and no need to give line weightage to this one because it represents the axis. So this is the front view and this is the top view. Line weight 0.4 already line weight displays in on. Now this represents the front view. Now we will give the notations. So top view the upper base here you can see the upper base is denoted with AB diameter and the bottom base is denoted with 1 and 2 A 1 B 2. So always the upper base is denoted with alphabets and the bottom base is denoted with the numerals which will make easier for you to understand. So now yeah command line okay text okay yeah so this is the upper base a dash and then b dash yeah okay so this represents the upper base but what about the bottom base when you see from the top the bottom base is invisible so that's why these representations are given inside the circle the bottom base which are invisible will be represented inside the circle otherwise we can represent in the brackets also this is front view no? top view right so no need to sorry this is top view we need to represent with a b a b and these are the bottom base which is invisible 1 and 2 1 and 2 and now this is the upper base a dash b dash whereas this one 1 dash and then 2 dash which represents the upper base lower base this is the upper base 
and the 1 1 2 is the lower base that is it here no need to represent the axis in some of the textbooks they represent in some of the textbook they did not represent it is up to you if you want you can represent it as o dash o 1 dash like that but I am not taking it ok. Now this is all about the axis parallel to vertical plane now you can see when the axis is parallel to horizontal plane the front view appears as a circle and top view appears as a rectangle as like we saw in the projections of a cone. Now here again I am going to draw a circle 20 take the line now I am going to draw the projections. the axis is 70 mm long ok the top view is a rectangle right so 70 70 now this is the front base when you see from this side this is the front base and this is the back base the one which is very nearer to the reference is called back base which is far away from the reference line will be the front base now this is the front view and this is the top view yes now this is the axis of the cylinder I am taking it with you know that center 2 you can otherwise you can select you can load from here already I have uh, loaded with center 2 already I represent uh, loaded right so that is why it is asking yeah ok now select these two and then apply center 2 apply so LTS already it is in 0.5 in default it will be 1 I am giving it as 0.5 only yeah you can cross check yes perfect axis line for both the one ok now we will give the notations for this one so the front view the front base is the AB so a dash and then B dash the back base is invisible you know that so the back base is visible when you see from here the back base is invisible so that is why representing inside the circuit 1 dash 2 dash and this is the back base 1 2 and this is A and B I will give the dimensions ok now we will give the height of the cylinder So, this is all about the projections of a cylinder when its axis is parallel to vertical plane and when its axis is parallel to horizontal plane. You can cross check in the layout, yes, it is perfect. Now you can export.